The Sanguine Alchemy is an exotic chess piece for Warlock added to the game with the Warmind DLC. The perk is called Heightened Senses. Standing in the rift grants an enhanced radar and marks high priority targets for you and your allies. It's a pretty interesting perk. Let me show you how it works. When you activate your rift and as long as you stand in it, your radar will become more precise, exactly like the enhanced radar night stalkers can get. So instead of your radar being split in 6 parts, it will double the amount. You will go from this to this. In PvE it's not really useful, but in PvP it allows you to get a more precise indication of where the players are around you. The other part of the perk is what makes this exotic pretty unique. When you stand in your rift, high priority targets will be marked, like this. Every allies that stays in the rift will also gain these two abilities. At first, I thought that every enemies with at least a orange health bar would count as a high priority target. But it doesn't work like that. I'm not sure what makes an enemy count as a high priority target, but sometimes red bar enemies can also be marked. Yellow bars are always marked from my experience. How it works is that the enemies must be inside a certain distance from you to be marked. Once they are marked though, they can go far away and as long as you stand in the rift, you will see them through walls. Just to give you an example, here's the distance I had to be from this lost sector boss to make it work. Where you want to use this exotic though is in PvP. In PvE I would not recommend it at all. There's too many other good exotics out there to waste your exotic slot on this one in PvE activities. The way it works in PvP is exactly the same as in PvE, except that every single player will be marked if you're standing in the rift. That is why this exotic shines in PvP. What I like to do is to get close to the enemy team, put a rift down somewhere where I can quickly take cover and still see the other players and start shooting. I would not recommend putting the rift somewhere where you cannot see where the other players could come from. The idea with this exotic is to be able to communicate where the other players are to your teammates while you're in your rift, but also to pre-aim at spots where you know someone will come from. It will help you win more gunfights since you know exactly when someone is going to be in your line of sight. Since you need to stay in your rift to take advantage of this perk, using a long range weapon is usually the best option. Another thing you might want to do is to make sure you have the maximum amount of class ability mods equipped. It is possible to have 3 class ability cooldown mods with the Dumblade subclass, so if you really want to get your rift back as fast as possible and take advantage of this exotic to its maximum, this is the subclass you want to use. It doesn't mean this exotic will be bad with other subclasses, but it's something to consider depending on your playstyle. Even though the radar is up in the competitive playlist, this exotic is still pretty useful since you will be able to track the other players through walls if they are close enough. The enhanced radar part of the perk will be useless, but that tracking part still works really well. Personally, I still prefer using the off in aspects in PvP, but I had a lot of fun with this one too, and it's a pretty solid choice, especially in comp. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leaving a like would be nice. You can also subscribe for more Destiny 2 content like this. Thank you for watching and have a great day.